Hey, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be using Ableton Live with a Midas M32R, or you can do the same thing with a Behringer X32. I had a viewer on my last video that discussed using this uh, mixer I went into detail about everything about the, the connection between the two. Uh, had a question about uh, getting a MIDI track out to the left and right mix. So uh, we did it in here. We, we put our click track both in the main mix, left and right, and then we also routed it to the Q mix, which again, on our mixer, we can go to a different input. So you have a separate volume control, not only in Ableton Live, but on your dedicated mixer. So uh, let's get to it. When you open an Ableton Live project, uh, there's not going to be any audio output for the MIDI track. So when you look on the channel, you can see there's no audio output like there is Audio 2 Master. So first you have to have an instrument in there. So we're going to put a drum rack. Now you see we have an Audio 2 Master. Now, whatever you have on there, if you want to put a click track in there or a MIDI instrument, it will go to the master fader, and the master is going to stereo outs one and two on the M32R. Just to double check, you want to go to audio output device, DN32 USB, output configuration. On mono outs, I have one, two, three, four, up through 16 and then I jumped to 29 to 32. It's just from different projects I have going on. And also I have stereo outputs 1 and 2, 9 and 10, and then so on. You can see all these. So just make sure that your audio outputs are configured there. I prefer to use the built-in metronome. And here you can change your count in. I have one bar, sound, you have classic, click, or wood. Listen to those. But some people would prefer to use uh, a MIDI track for that, like a drum rack. So in that case, when we um, add the drum rack to the channel, you can see the audio is going to the master. Here's the master fader and it's outputs one and two. There are, uh, as you can see on the mixing console, it's coming up on uh, one and two on the mixer. In our case, it's nine and 10. And if you wanted to go to a different output, which I like on the cue out right here above the master, it's also going to one and two, and that's why our metronome is going out of one and two. There's nothing in the drum rack, so you're not going to get show the signal. But I'm gonna go instead to three. Now when I push play, we hear nothing until I bring this up. Now I have control on my mixer for the Q. Now that I have that set up, if I wanted to do something in MIDI, well, let's just insert a MIDI clip. All right, so we're going to use that as our click. All 
All right, now that we have our click in there, I'm going to turn it off in our in Ableton. There's our click track, and you can see that it's going to our master because it says master here. Now, for, instead, if I wanted it to go out Q3, the, th the third output instead of one and two, so I could control the volume on my mixer separately from the rest of the tracks, I'd go external out, go down here to mono three. Now I can turn it up and down on our mixer. That's it. That's how we configure a MIDI track uh, to the master or a separate output. Well, I hope that video was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this. So uh, thanks a lot. See you soon.